And I certainly is glad to be able to deal, you know it. You ain't no gladder than I am. I don't never want to go back there no more. You know, we are, we are just out on bonds. I know we is out on bonds. Don't try to tell me what we is. That was pretty nice of Ruby Taylor's papa to come down there and sign the bonds for us, wasn't it? That was all right. You can go ahead now. Fall in love with her if you want to. Anybody that gets me out of jail, I claim, is all right. I ain't falling in love with her, though. I ain't going to do that. The thing we has got to do here now is to figure out something that we can tell them when they call us back down there to talk to us. Well, uh, I don't know nothing we can tell them except what we done already to them. Well, what we got to prove to the men down there is that uh, we ain't had nothing to do with the holdup. And if we can't prove that to them, they're liable to slap us back in jail, bond or no bond. I, I, I wish they'd hurry up and uh, uh, catch the men that held up the pawn shop. I know we didn't do it. If they catch the men, that would let us out of it, you know it? Uh -huh. wait, wait a minute. Uh, I hope this here ain't a policeman. So do I. Come in, come in. Well, I've been doggone. Here's the landlord. Hello, landlord. Well, boys, welcome back. Welcome back we home. Is, we glad to be back here, too. We done come to the conclusion that you has got a better rooming house than the one we just left, landlord. Well, we ain't fooling about that either. That's right, landlord. You know, I tried to see you boys while you was in jail, but they wouldn't let me talk to you. Well, uh, they wouldn't let nobody talk to us. Uh, Sylvester tried to come down to see us, too. That was the biggest mess that we done ever got in. Just cause some burglars robbed the pawn shop and jumped in our taxi cab, they sent us to jail for it. Yeah, that's all it was to it. Well, boys, I was glad you out. The old lady told me that she saw you come in the front door. Uh, yeah, well, uh, 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 we, we ain't out though for good, you know. We, we just out on bond. Yeah, that's right. We just out on bond. Mr. Taylor is the one that signed the bond for us. A uh, Ruby Taylor, Papa. Old man Taylor signed your bonds, huh? Well, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, we got to go back down there and stand trial, I guess, landlord. Well, boys, I just come in to tell you that I'm mighty glad that you's out of jail and everything's all right. Well, much obliged to you for coming in. We glad to be here, too. Well, glad to be back here. Yeah, we certainly are. Well, so long, landlord, if you're going. Yeah, well, so long, landlord. Thanks for coming in. So long, boys. I'll see you again. Well, everybody knew that we was in jail all right. Yeah, they didn't none of them rush down there, though, and try to get us out, except old man Taylor. And if Ruby Taylor wasn't crazy about you, she wouldn't have been down there, neither. What we got to get is a lawyer or something, so when we go back down there for trial, we, we know what we are doing. The next thing to do is to find a good lawyer. That's what we got to do. Seems to me that we ought to be able to find a lawyer here in town. If I was in Atlanta, Georgia, I know a lawyer down there that if we give him two dollars, he'd do anything we want him to do. The trouble is, though, with a lawyer like that that charges you two dollars, he's liable to charge you two dollars every time he talks to you, see. Like the first thing, I mean, like the first time he talks to you is two dollars, the next time he talks to you is two dollars, and then we liable to be broke giving him two dollars all the time. I wish we could get a lawyer that would charge us about a dollar. That's what we ought to get, a dollar lawyer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I hear somebody coming down the hall, I think. Somebody in the hall? Wait a minute. I think I hear somebody walking down the hall. Listen. I hope that ain't no police. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Don't say nothing. Uh-oh, show sure up. There is somebody at the door. Come in. Well, I've a dog on here is the kingfish. Hello, Kingfish. How are oh, you? Oh, brother, shake hands with you, Kingfish. How glad I is to see you back. Yeah, we is glad to be back. I here, say too. we is glad to be back. Yes, sir. I just heard the news that you boys was out of jail, and I wanted to rush over here and put my arms around you and tell you that as brothers of the Mystic Knights of the Sea, I welcomed you out of jail. Oh, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, we is out of jail now. I don't know how long we're going to be out, though. Kingfish. You see, uh, Kingfish, uh, I, I, I was riding down the street in my taxi cab, you know, and uh, uh, these uh, burglars come out of the pawn shop that they just robbed, and they jumped in my taxi cab and made me drive them away. Then they arrested both of us and took us to jail. Well, brothers, 
I knew when I heard that you boys was in trouble that everything would come out all right. Oh, brothers, how wonderful it is to belong to a great fraternity like the Mystic Knights of the Sea, where all of the brothers stick together like we do. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Are we certainly as glad to get out of jail. Old man Taylor signed our bonds for us. We got to go back down to trial, though, I guess. We is trying to get a good lawyer that don't charge us much. Brothers, if you want a lawyer, we has got two or three of them right in the lodge that might help you out. Yeah, I know two or three of them in the lodge, and there's all brothers. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, that would be nice if we could get one of them. Uh, uh, you know anyone, how much would the charge us? Yeah, that's the main thing. How much would the charge us? That's the thing. Well, now, brothers, I know one lawyer down there. Uh, he is what you call a condition lawyer. He's a condition lawyer. Huh? What is a condition lawyer? Yeah, what's that? Well, uh, they charge you according to your condition. If you can stand a whole lot, they take it away from you. But if your condition is bad, he's liable to fix you up for three, four dollars. Well, what condition is he in? Do we know anything about law? Well, uh, Andy, I tell you, this is one I'm talking about now. Between uh, the brothers right here in the room, the three of us, I don't know. I think that he is what you call a bucket shop lawyer. A bucket shop lawyer? What kind of lawyer is a bucket shop lawyer? Yeah, what do you mean, a bucket shop lawyer? Well, uh, I tell you what I mean, brothers, by that. I think that uh, he is a lawyer without looking at any book. I think that he had a friend of his to pass him by the bar. Oh, yeah. You don't mean to tell him. We'd be in a fine fix to have a lawyer down there fighting those policemen that don't know what he's doing. Uh, do we talk like you know anything about law? Yeah, how about that? Uh, do we know anything about law? To tell you the truth, Amos, the brother has just got a lot of nerve. Well, that's about half the battle, nerve. That's what that is. Uh, do, do we know any big words? Oh, yeah, he stood up in court one day. I happened to be down in the courtroom. The case was, now, let me see, what was that case? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jackson, Vesuvius Jackson. Jackson, Vesuvius Jackson. What a name that is. I should oh, say. yeah. He let out some big words down there that, that day that right up to now, the state's attorney ain't never figured out what he said. You know when they can say them big words like that, the judge knows that the man uh, know what he's talking about. I like to hear a man you get big words like that. Yeah. Well, I tell you, brother, this brother can sit down and make you think that you ain't got a brain in your head. Get him over here, or let us get down there and talk to him, do that. Yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah. Well, I tell you what I'll do, brother. You know I love you boys. I think the world and all of you, of course, we is all brothers. I'll help you out. I'll call him up the first thing in the morning and make appointment for you. Well, now, brothers, I guess I gotta be going on home. The old lady is waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, Andy, let's walk to the front door with the kingfish. All right, we'll walk out to the front door with the kingfish. Oh, brothers, how wonderful it is. I wonder if you two brothers would let me take $2 until next Wednesday. I'll tell you what happened. You know I was walking down the street.